that bus crease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus crease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus crease monkey down the road. All right, good morning from Gilbert, Arizona. We're here working on uh, Juan and Michelle's 4106. 1964, I believe is what it is. Um, they have a YouTube channel uh, beginning from this morning. So I got Lenny's parked right over here. So I'm on concrete again, this is nice. Uh, we're going through a few things. First of all, I gotta ask him about his headlights because those are pretty awesome. <laughs> they recently had the bus painted. They've done a ton of work on it. And when you go to their channel, and I'm sure he'll show us off his solar array and stuff, but the solar panel setup he's got is absolutely ridiculous. Um, everything he's done on here is crazy. Wow. Okay, so we're working on, this morning, we're working on some engine oil leaks. So he put some cardboard down under here just to kind of show us wow. how it was leaking. So we got one big spot there from overnight. And just kind of following it up, it turns out it looks like it's coming from the bottom of the boot here. So we just tighten that up. We're going to clean it up now and take it for a test drive and see if that fixed the problem there. There's another leak on the other side coming from, looks like the oil filter adapter. So we'll get under there in just a second and check that out too. on the shoulder. Oh, you got a fancy seatbelt. <laughs> Nobody's ever got shoulder straps. <laughs> yeah. oh, look at that. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. It's still at 100 PSI, but if I leave it on there long enough, I can get it to go to 90. Thanks, Lyle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. oh, excuse the bumpiness. Trip. Okay. Yeah, now we're down to 28 away. Yeah. 
Yeah, it idle, especially when it gets warmed up, it'll get even lower. Yeah. So just, yeah, if you can go like around this big block here or something, sure. that would be fine. Yep. Right. Seems like this. That way? Or? Well, whichever way you think you can get up to some speed here. Yep. Yeah, I think either way will be fine. Okay. Yeah, you can hear the... Yeah. Brake treadle is going to need to be replaced. My what? The brake oh. treadle. Yeah. I figured that. I, I figured it isn't supposed to make that noise. Nope. Okay.
that little out thing to yeah. help me turn it around. engine braking sign there <laughs> that says no engine braking oh does it <laughs> yeah <laughs> mine's so quiet it barely counts so there is a t -t 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 on that i don't know if you can hear it on that wheel and it, i don't know if it's a rock it might be a rock stuck in the tread um ne neither of the front wheel bearings feel right to be riding up here on the seat. Jakes are working, by the way. Okay. You think it's just like half or something? Uh, it's hard to say. Okay. But just the way that they feel and the way that they sound, okay. they're not all there. So okay. they, they, there's little rubber O-rings in them. When they, if they leak, then they, they don't work. That could be what the issue is. Okay. surface is pretty smooth but I feel like a, a growly kind of feel on my foot here. Okay. So that's an indication of the wheel bearing? Pro probably. And then the fact that it wasn't wanting to roll, right. that, that's another concern for me. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I've never had that happen. Because usually I can take it out, put it in neutral, take it out of, you know, take the brake off and it'll roll out of the drive. So, yeah, that was weird for me.
the downshift into the torque converter. Okay. That was pretty hard. Yeah, that was a hard <laughs> one, yeah. So we're taking off the front hub here. I can see that water's been infiltrating in here. You see the rusty kind of color. Um, there's almost no grease at all on this bearing, um, but we'll keep keep looking see what we got from there. The outside nut was super loose, uh, maybe like 25 foot pounds or less. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and you wanna grab that bearing and pull that out of there. Take a look at it. Boy, that thing has had some... And it's had some water. And it's had some heat. Oh, it's yeah, had some it's had some heat. heat. Yep. Color. Mm -hmm. yep, look at that. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right, how's the race? Well, it's extremely dry. R rub yep. your finger on it. You get no grease at all on your finger. Oh, yep. <laughs> Mom says to hook. What can I do? He's recording right now. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. So we can see all the water that's mm -hmm. been in here. Okay. And here is another concern. Yep. Oops. Okay, hang on. Turn my phone around. Yep. So run your fingernail across those. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. They're they're raised. Yep. So what happens like when an earthquake, when like part of the ground like comes up or whatever, mm -hmm. that's the, the type of crack, oh my gosh. Is it bad? Oh, there's holes. Oh. Can you see on my phone? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Is that bad? That is bad. We'll have to get a new. Other than somebody went crazy with a chisel in here. There's not a lot of grease on the bearings either. So we'll see how it comes apart. That other chisel thing. Oh, okay. okay you want to you know. film this cow line? Yeah. Yeah, just don't bounce around a lot. Yeah, just don't bounce. How much is your best way? About, about 20,000 pounds, maybe a little bit more. So like 10 tons? And this is a 10 ton. Right. Hydro. Yep, and it's only lifting one corner, so. So what's... Was that loose? Um, yeah, it felt about the prop appropriate tension, though. Okay. There's some rusty stuff in here. Yeah, not as much as the other one. No. Yeah. No, but it's nasty in here. Oh, it's nasty. Could just be the color grease, not necessarily the rust in there. Let me get a. Let me get some cardboard. definitely a lack of lubrication there. There's not enough grease what needs to be in there. Wow. 
Yep, again. Check two. Oof. I gotta get brake clean to really, can you get in there close with the camera, Kelly? And can I mean, you, you can see it really good. That yeah. it's chunky? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. Oh no, it's supposed to be really smooth. Yeah. <laughs> it's filled with, I mean, those are gouges. They're mm -hmm. filled with brake dust right now. But. Yeah. That? That's the wiper in the back. Okay. That looks red. Yeah, I think it's red grease. The wiper it. is very badly damaged. Okay. So we're gonna have Let me to step buy a new camera wiper. and I'll see if I can get in there. See that groove? If you look in the camera here, you can see it. Oh yeah, I mean, yep. It's like way down in there. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Okay, so let's knock this bearing out. Just hold it up. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Goes all the way across. And where's the other? Got that Just checking. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> where's that other punch thing? This one has more grease than any of the other ones did. Like, mm -hmm. you can't really see the rollers and all that. Right, yeah. And they don't look discolored. They don't, and there's no lines across them. Yeah. Not pretty. rubbing on the tire and it looks like it's had an air leak over there so we're going to replace those and get this one just a hair shorter it's a little bit too long it's longer than the other side this is the front race and all those darker marks you catch your fingernail definitely on them they're, they're big gouges and then you can see where it's worn that shiny groove on the other side So we're replacing bearings and races, seals. You saw that, that uh, the wiper is just trashed on there. The brakes, you know, they're crumbling and falling apart. The drums are all, I don't know if I showed this one over here. I may, I may have, I don't remember what I recorded or didn't record today, but this one's even worse than the other side. I don't know if I can get in and get a, That they're just not little cracks those are big surface and they cut your nails the whole Races were really dry. There was not enough grease in the bearings. They hadn't been serviced in a long time. So we're gonna replace the linings, the drums, the bearings, the races. That's just up front. We haven't got to the rear ones yet, so we're gonna do that tomorrow before we call and order parts. Oh, and seals, we're gonna replace the seals. Um, we worked on some oil leaks today. Got a few of them fixed. The um, the blower drive the that was leaking. There was I had to replace a hose clamp that was coming apart on a coolant line. Uh, the oil filter adapter that goes on there is leaking, so we're going to order a new uh, oil filter adapter kit for it. I can't remember what else. 
The transmission has a leak at the bottom of the joint between the transmission and the engine. So we're gonna do our best to put a Band-Aid on it. Power steering, it's got 40 weight oil in it. That is not what belongs in there. When it's cold, it whines like crazy. So we're gonna put a proper fluid in there for that. Either a hydraulic oil is acceptable or even an automatic transmission fluid. And then tomorrow we're gonna jack the rear up, get into these rear hubs, take a look at them. We're gonna look at airbags back here. They're getting a little, little checky on there. This side comes down, so we're gonna see if we can figure out what that is. But we're gonna go ahead and replace the front ones. They're, they're only eight years old, but this Phoenix Air is really hard on rubber. And he wants to have it reliable. Um, and because they're cracking so much, we're just gonna, we're just gonna replace it. And then he doesn't have to worry about it for a while. So, I mean, I've seen much, much worse. I say you probably get another four years out of him maybe, but you don't wanna take the gamble and then be broke down and have one blow out. So a couple hundred bucks, just replace them. We've got everything off. They're very accessible right now. We're gonna replace all the radius rod bushings because they are, actually it's probably the best one I just showed you. <laughs> The rest of them are in bad shape. Falling out, missing. You can see where they've been rubbing. And they're just coming apart. So hopefully we can get a, like a the seal saver or whatever the speedy ring that goes on there on the other side. This side already has one; it's a different size seal than the other side. Um, because the other wipers, the wipers are very hard to replace. They're they're pressed on heat. Uh, we got to get the torch out if we're taking them off. It's so much easier to just put that little new ring surface on the outside and then go with an oversized seal. So hopefully that's available. But we got a lot done for one day. Just trying to make it safe and reliable. That's that's our plan. You know, he's gonna have his family on there and do some traveling. Oh, brake treadle valve needs to be replaced. So we're ordering that too. When he holds his foot on the brake, air leaks out of it. And you can't have that. Um, could just get O-rings for it and try to rebuild it, but it's cheaper and easier just to put the new one on. Luke has those in stock at US Coach in New Jersey, so. Beautiful bust. You guys didn't see a solar array today, but those panels come out and doubles the square footage of a solar. I should have showed that. You can go to his channel and check it out. I'll put a link.